Estrada. I'm the executive director of the Northampton Community Music Center. We are a nonprofit music school. We serve about 800 students from around Western Massachusetts. We uh, teach private lessons in all of the instruments of the orchestra, plus voice, piano, uh, composition. We have uh, group programs in the study of rock music, jazz music, classical chamber music, uh, we have a number of summer programs, and we teach young child programs. I'm Jim Armenti, I'm a counselor here at the Rock and Roll Camp at North Camp Community Music Center, uh, which we've been doing for five or six years, each summer for two weeks. We started this program about seven years ago, and uh, uh, it was sort of a, a partnership with Downtown Sounds, the music store in town, and um, he sort of introduced me to you know some people he knows that would be good, good good coaches for the program. We sort of said it would be really great the way we do our chamber music program to give kids who are studying their instrument the opportunity to play with other kids at a young age. So I have the youngest kids this year or this session. I have two 10 year olds, two 11 year olds, and two 12 year olds. Uh, so they're the least experienced. <laughs> <laughs> They're the least experienced people, uh, with generally the least amount of ability, but this particular group is extremely musical. A lot of kids who are studying guitar, drums, something like that, they never get to really play with other kids with any instruction involved. They get together, they form their garage bands, they do their thing. When kids start bands themselves, they end up getting driven by their parents somewhere with their gear and dumped off, and they, they play for about five minutes, and then they realize they don't know anything, and then they play video games for a couple hours. That's how bands go for years, you know, so, uh, and it's true of adults too. It's very difficult to find an ensemble that functions, that learns how to function. The best part about playing music is to play in a group or something like that. The most difficult part is to get into a group that's manageable. But uh, to have a professional rock musician coaching them along um, uh, would just add to the musicality. Um, so we said, what if we do sort of an intensive week and put these kids in with, you know, professional musicians from around the area and, and pick some classic songs for them to work on and then give them a chance to bring songs that they want to work on. And uh, it's just incredible what they accomplish in just five days. I'm Ethan Hachibo. I play uh, guitar, sing, and, and bass um, in the camp. Well, they give us a list of seven um, and a CD in about mid-June, uh, so we can start working on them in July. So I think the coaches pick them, um, and Jason probably has to say. They asked us on the, uh, on the flyer to list three favorite performers and like three songs we can play. Jason and some of the administration here selects eight songs per session. They get copies of those songs. They make a CD with two sessions on them. For the teachers, they mail, if you're in the first week session, they mail you the one with the eight songs on it. You're supposed to go over it as best you can. If you have a teacher, you bring it to the teacher, they help you with it, uh, whether you're a drummer or a bass player or a guitar player, and they help you with the um, parts so that when you come in, you have an idea of how to play each song. In the oldest group here, there's at least one, possibly two people that were in my youngest group twice. So that's how long they've been here. You know, they, they were in those groups and they moved up to the middle group and now they're in the highest group helping out 18 years old or something. People keep coming back and they, and they get better and they learn how to be in an ensemble and how to help the ensemble learn. And some of these kids who are new to the program and come to the program for the first time never having played with other kids and by the end of the week they're like, uh, you know, they're making incredible music. And uh, so it's a lot of fun to see the progress that's made. We've definitely had kids who have gone on to study music in college. Uh, some of the kids go off to Berkeley and, and, uh, and uh, continue their music careers. We've definitely had tons of uh, music students come through the, the center uh, doing lots of other things that are professional musicians now. I think what we're doing helps get them on that road um, and certainly gives them a, a leg up on um, being a better musician. 